Helis, here I am. Please be aware that this video includes sensitive topics like violence and sexualization. Don't watch the video if these topics trigger you. We also want to add that creator Jihoon's Carrot has made a video about the group in the past. However, months have passed and people are still not paying attention to the issues the group has to deal with. So we have sons okay to make this video to bring more attention to the issue. Hello everybody. Today we will cover the girl group Fanatics that debuted in 2019. The group enjoyed little success during their debut, but later went viral when members were mistreated during a livestream by the company. We'll discuss the career of Fanatics and the company's role in their failure. FENT, short for Fasino Entertainment, is a South Korean entertainment agency that was founded in 2013. It's home to mostly actors and Fanatics are their only group. In 2018, Mnet aired their girl group survival program Produce 48, in which 96 trainees competed against each other for a spot in the 12-member debut group. Member Doa, representing Fend, became quite popular on the show and finished in 23rd place, being eliminated right before the finale. Only a few months later, Fend announced the debut of the subunit Flavor, which would later lead up to the debut of the full group. Flavor, composed of the member Doa, Yunhe and Chiai, debuted in November of 2018 with the single album Milkshake. The single album didn't do very well and was only sold around 1000 times physically. The music video has surpassed 1.2 million views as of now. In August the next year, Fanatics finally debuted as a full six-member group. The group was made up of Doi, Chelin, Chiai, Yunhe, Doa and Shika. Some of the girls had been known to the public before debut. Fanatics also introduced a rotational member system in which members could sit out of releases and new ones would be added afterwards. Their debut EP, The Six, was released at the beginning of August 2019 alongside the title track Sunday. The physical album was only sold around 2000 times physically. The music video was able to surpass 1.1 million views as of now. Some fans expressed disappointment due to the song being less energetic and interesting compared to other debuts at that time. However, Fanatics went on to promote their debut on all major music shows the following weeks. In April the following year, eight months after their debut, their second mini-album was announced. Alongside the scheduler for the mini-album, two new members were introduced to join Fanatics while members Yunhe and Chelin would be taking a break from group activities. Member Ryan and Bia were introduced the following days and alongside them, Fanatics released their second mini-album Plus Two alongside their title track Vavi Girl. The music video has almost surpassed 800,000 views on YouTube while the physical album recorded a significant drop in sales and was only sold around 1.4 thousand times. The music video has also reached over 4 million views on the channel of Fent. However, it was mostly used as advertisements. The group started to promote the song and album on all major music shows the following weeks as expected. With the pandemic and the worrisome drop in success, Fanatics did not release any more music throughout 2020, but kept being very active on social media. Frequent updates, cover videos and especially live streams were shared with the fans. In September, a big controversy surrounding the group would come up. It all started with a live stream held on September 7th, 2020, in which four of the members were talking about a giveaway event. During the live stream, the camera was adjusted multiple times and was pointed downwards to show more of the girls' legs. The remaining members were off camera and were handing the girls on screen jackets to cover themselves up, as they were wearing short skirts and were fully exposed. Shortly after covering their legs, a male staff member was heard off-screen cursing someone. They were saying, what are you doing, covering their legs up, we're trying to show them, why are you covering it, are you stupid? The argument was followed by two instances of what sounded like someone being slapped. The members on screen stopped talking and started to look extremely uncomfortable. Member Doi handed away the jacket and the uncovered members kept their legs crossed for the rest of the livestream. All members looked scared and kept looking around uncomfortably. 
According to fans, and especially YouTube creator One Inch Barrier, the member being cursed and slapped off camera was Shika, the leader of the group. The case of sexual and physical harassment made its way through online communities and became a huge controversy. People online also pointed out that this was not the first instance of the members being shown in provocative angles and being uncovered. Through backtracking, YouTube creator One Inch Barrier found multiple instances starting as early as May of 2020 in which the members were being exposed on their live streams. Fent then released a statement stating they have acknowledged the mistake and severity of the situation. They also announced that they would be taking measures regarding the person responsible. They also went on to delete a lot of the V-lives without any notice afterwards. In late September, it was announced that Fent would be bought by Chinese company Color Star Technology and that Fanatics would be managed by them moving forward. However, the following months nothing changed and the girls were still seen at the Fent building. The social media accounts were also not changed, which made fans believe the purchase was not a change of management but more a change in ownership of Fent as a company. Some fans also believe the deal never went through and Fent was never purchased. After more than a year of no new releases, Fanatics released their first digital single Starry Night in May of 2021. The single wasn't promoted and therefore did not garner much attention. The song was also only sung by Chiai, Chelin, Rayon and Doa. In July it was announced that three of the eight members of Fanatics would join the new survival show Girls Planet 999 to compete. Members Chiai, part of the Chinese team, and members Ryan and Doa, part of the Korean team, would go on to compete on the show for a spot in the final group that ended up debuting as Kepler. When being asked why she was participating, Doa started to tear up. She shared that the show was the last realistic opportunity for her and her group. Member Ryan shared that they were under a lot of pressure due to the pandemic and that she was very scared that Fanatics would also go on to disband. Ryan was eliminated in episode 5, Chiai and Doa in episode 8. After the elimination, a few covers by member Doa were posted on the group's YouTube, garnering quite some attention. A few months later, in September, Shika announced her return to China, her home country, and asked fans to support her and the group. Fans were confused, but there were no news of her departure from the group. Shika asked for fans to support her new beginning. A month later in October, fans started to get worried as leader Shika went missing and stopped appearing on the social media channels of the group. All of her videos were also deleted from the official social media accounts, erasing her presence in the group completely. A month later, the description of their channel on YouTube was edited and Shika's name was deleted. Fans started to believe she was out of the group for the time being, however, no official statement was made by the company. In November, fans started to spread the hashtag WhereIsChallin as she had also been absent from the group's social media since the end of July. The company also did not post anything for her birthday while doing so for the other members. There was no official statement on the matter once again. Months later in March, Fent deleted Chalin's content from their social media page and deleted her name from the official YouTube page. Without any official statement, it is believed that she is also out of the group. In May, all of Fanatic's social media accounts were rebranded to official Fent channels. There was no official statement and the channels now represent the company, not the group anymore. Later that month, member Ryan released a collaboration single with singer MK. Member Dui acted in the music video. VMV was only able to reach over 30,000 views as of now, mostly because it wasn't promoted. In August, Shika introduced herself to the public on a Chinese platform and talked about the huge V-Life scandal that took place a year prior. She admitted she was the girl that had been beaten. Her statement also clarified that she was forced to deny her being hit in a video right after the incident took place back in 2021. 
In early October, fans noticed that the official Twitter and Instagram accounts of the group were deleted. There has been no explanation for the deletion, making it even more worrying. The official Fent YouTube channel is the only social media channel that is still online. Surprisingly, Fent posted a few covers of the members on there. The official channel of the members remains deleted with all content being gone. Fanatics are not active as a group anymore. Certain members keep on posting content through the group's social media, but no group performances or releases are in sight. On top of that, a lot of the content seems to be made and edited by the members themselves, so the support by the company seems to be non-existent. Now, even their social media accounts are deleted. Member Doa remains the most popular member of the group and has over 360,000 followers on Instagram. She recently opened up an official Twitter account for her Japanese promotions. She also uses her birth name rather than her stage name she was using in Fanatics and there is no connection to her being a member of Fanatics whatsoever. The career of Fanatics is short and heartbreaking. All eight members of the group worked years on end to be able to debut as idols and some of them even endured multiple survival shows to push themselves and the group on the market. However, an idol can only do this much, when in fact the company behind them has the higher power and needs to promote them as best as they can. Fent absolutely failed in managing Fanatics and it's brutal to see how desperate smaller companies can get when plans are not working out. After a not so successful debut, Fanatics came back with their second mini album, which did even worse. With the start of the pandemic, it's understandable that the company did not have the funds to prepare a comeback right away. But there's no excuse for letting the group fade away from the public eye in such an extreme way. Aside from the members posting on social media, fanatics seem to have little to no support from the company. The girls filmed and edited almost all of the content on their channel and fan did not seem to care about a clear marketing strategy or professional editing. Now, even their official accounts are deleted. Deleting their accounts but still uploading content through the company's channel is another absolutely illogical move by Fent. Some members have also hinted at having side jobs to support themselves, further proving that Fent is not doing anything for them. Fent has also done a terrible job in communicating with the fans. A key factor for success is staying in contact with and winning the trust of fans. Communication issues started right when Fanatics added two members. It was never made clear why two of the members were sitting out, only the members themselves clarified it was for studying purposes. The company also did not list an address or email leaving no way to contact them. As of now, no departures of the members have been officially announced, even though Shika herself has indirectly confirmed her departure. Silently deleting all traces of members and refusing to make an official statement on their status in the group is a horrible move and super unfair towards fans who showed support to the members for years. Fent was and probably is still struggling financially. But instead of choosing any other way, the company dared to start selling their idols' bodies for fame through live streams by sexually exploiting them. For months on end, the girls were showcased, probably against their will, and when trying to protect themselves, they were cursed at, threatened, and even physically abused. The way this company mistreated the members is insane, and to work under such a company while being so dependent on them must have been extremely burdensome. Not promoting the group, not informing the fans about what goes on inside the group and exploiting the members goes to show what a truly horrible company Fent is. I have the utmost respect for the girls for enduring their time under this company until now and I really hope that Fent either drastically changes or simply lets the girls go to pursue their dreams elsewhere. With the non-existent effort that Fent invests in the group nowadays, people are really, really worried about the group. Please support the girls' careers and fanatics as a group as well as you can. The social media accounts of the members will be linked down below. Thank you for watching.